Hey everyone, welcome to my library. My name is Melissa and today I thought I would talk about my 2022 reading goals and also a big life update. Um, so I thought I would start with my life update then go on to my goals, which is really more just a mindset for me, a 2022, re 2022 reading mindset. And then um, just go into what I'm currently reading and just kind of catch up with you guys since I know I haven't filmed in a while. <laughs> I finally had a day where my house wasn't being um, pounded away in tile or um, remodeled with drywall. Anyways, it's a whole situation over here <laughs> where I don't have any time to film um, or, you know, have the uh, environment that, that would support that. So finally had a, a moment to myself. So um, yeah, it's Sunday afternoon <laughs> and I'm enjoying it. Um, so I'd start, I'll start with the big life update, which I have a little thing to show you guys. <laughs> this is something I got in London. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Yes, I am pregnant. <laughs> That's my announcement. Um, yeah, so I am actually quite far along. I've waited a long time to tell you guys, I'm sorry, but I was just so nervous to, um, announce it online really. I don't know why, but uh, I wanted to wait for a good time to do it and I feel like now is a good time. So um, yeah, I am pregnant. I am um, six months along. So I'm due in April, mid-April. Um, so yeah, I'm actually due on the day of my husband's birthday. So that's kind of cute. Um, but yeah, so I was pregnant while I was in London and bought this cute onesie while we were there. And I just think it's so cute. So anyways, <laughs> um, so yeah, I am so excited about it. Um, it's been uh, a long time coming. I've been married for a while. And um, anyways, uh, I've been feeling totally fine, really. Um, Obviously, there are some random things like insomnia and exhaustion that I'm dealing with. But uh, but yeah, on, honestly, overall, I have been really good. So um, this has been a good experience so far. Um, and yeah, I'm super, super happy. Uh, obviously, though, with that being said, um, it has changed my mindset this year. Um, knowing that I'm going to have a baby in April <laughs> and um, basically my whole life will be turned upside down at that point. Um, this year is the year of low stress for me and I don't want reading to be at all a, um, a stressor. And I don't think it ever should be, but really this year for me is the year for me to um, just focus on what's most important. And um, anyways, for my reading goals, my reading mindset, it's going to be the year of the five star prediction is what I'm calling it. So um, I want every book I read and pick up to be a five star prediction for me. Um, I want it to be something that I am so excited to pick up and um, that I know that I've either heard great things about or that I just know I'm going to love or that um, just is right up my alley for some reason. Um, so with that being said, too, I'm also mood reading a ton. I don't have any set TBRs um, and I don't think I will, especially because my work is going to be picking up soon um, in light of it being tax busy season, which if you guys know me um, or know anything about my personal life, I'm a tax accountant. So February to April is a busy season, the busiest season for me. And so, um, yeah, so <laughs> it's going to be a wild time being seven, eight, nine months pregnant and doing that as well. It's going to be crazy. But um, yeah, so I basically have no set TBRs um, and no really set reading goals, except for I did set my Goodreads goal to 40, which it was 50 last year. And I just barely hit that before the year end. Um, so I think 40 is a good number for me, given 
the situation <laughs> given the light of everything happening um and i'm i'm looking forward to that though because i actually hopefully will get a lot of reading in um i mean i say that you know skeptically and and with a lot of hesitation because i know how much a newborn takes up your time um fortunately though i will have a uh, six months maternity leave so um that is such a benefit to me um of my job is how great the benefits are and um i'm i'm very fortunate i know that um but yes yeah, so uh six month maternity leave will hopefully lead to maybe some reading time <laughs> where i can fit that and and get that goal um but uh other than that really um i also kind of just reflected on my past reading year and um what were my favorite books and what were the memorable experiences that I came away with from last year and reading. And I just realized I need to focus on the genres and the the books that I'm really loving and in the mood for and not try to, you know, fit the mold of one way or the other with certain genres or, um, you know, if there's a readathon that comes along, you know, drop everything and do that readathon or something. You know, I, I just, I don't want that this year. I just want to focus on um, what I love <laughs> and what really gets me excited to read. So, um, yeah, there's probably going to be a bigger focus on classics this year, uh, also in light of that, because classics have brought me such a joy in the past, and they're also the most memorable reading experiences for me. And I just, um, I want to get back to loving, like loving classics and, um, kind of being able to say, oh yes, I read that and I loved it. You know, I don't know. So yeah, I'm going to focus a lot more probably on classics this year and historical fiction as well. Um, I, my most recent reads have been historical fiction, like entirely. <laughs> and so I, I used to, before booktube, um, that was my sole genre, really, was classics and historical fiction. And um, I would read World War II historical fiction a lot and um, also some classics. And that was all I read. And so it's obviously my genres have varied widely since then, but I kind of want to hone it in ag again a little bit. So um, yeah, that is where I'm at with 2022 and my mindset. Um, I'm also not going to be stressing about buddy reads this year. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I've toned down on the buddy reads discord group and starting a new book and all of that. Um, I, yeah, I just don't want to try to extend myself too far. You know, I don't want, I don't want it to be stressful. And um, sometimes buddy reads can be very stressful for me. Um, you know, if if it happens to be that I want to read a book that someone else wants to read and, and it just kind of happens, that's awesome. But I am not planning on, you know, doing some sort of monthly anything or, um, yeah, really trying to commit to a lot of buddy reads. So forgive me if, you know, maybe I seem a little bit more just... Uh, recluse with my reading, I guess, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, but I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Um, oh, I mean, like as far as 2022 goals go. But now I'll talk about what I'm reading and what I plan to read soon. Um, so what I'm currently reading is Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. And I am loving it. Oh my gosh. I'm going to finish this today. I only have 70 pages left. So definitely going to finish this today. I'm so excited. Um, uh, this is, so this is my confession. I have not read Northanger Abbey or Mansfield Park, two of Jane Austen's six iconic novels, um, most well-read books. Um, and anyways, I need to. <laughs> And that was kind of like, you know, a little bit of a goal, I guess you could say for this year is to do that, to read the two that I have remaining that I haven't experienced yet. So yeah, so I'm starting with this one and it's, uh, it's going great so far. I've loved reading about Catherine and her experience and her love. And, um, the irony in this book is so funny. Like the satire in this book talking about, um, what usually happens with heroines and um 
how we can expect this heroine to react this way. And it's just so witty. I love that about Jane Austen. And um, her friendship with the Thorps is the worst. They are the worst friends. I hate them. <laughs> um, if you guys have read this book, you probably know what I'm talking about. But oh my gosh, toxic friends for sure in this book. Um, poor thing. But it's getting better now. She's in North Anger Abbey as we speak. So um, yeah, I'm excited to finally have this as a checked off my list kind of book. Um, so yeah, I'm also highlighting in blue anything that I think is witty or funny or, uh, you know, just quotes or random things. So I've got highlights kind of throughout this whole book. So it's been great. <laughs> um, okay, and then what I plan to read in the future I'm going to do a try a chapter later once I finish this book. Um, I'm going to do a try a chapter and you guys will kind of see the mood I'm in. <laughs> I'm in a very family saga and historical fiction mood. And so the three that I have that are all basically five star predictions for me is first The Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly. This is the first in a series, and um, I know that you can read them out of order. They're um, from different timelines or time frames, um, but this one is a World War II historical fiction that I feel like everyone has read but me, <laughs> and so um, I've been in the hugest World War I and World War II historical fiction mood. Um, I'm currently listening to on audio The Alice Network and loving it by Kate Quinn. Um, so good, so gripping. It has me hooked. Um, so yeah, so maybe I'll continue my kind of binge of historical fiction that I've just been holding off on reading and read this. So that's the first option. The second option will come as no surprise either, and that is The Bastard by John Jakes. Um, so this is the first in the Kent Family Chronicles series which I have yet to get to still and I'm so mad at myself about it because John Jakes is one of my favorite authors ever and um, this is such a like quintessential John Jakes book um, that I haven't picked up and I'm also reading John Adams if you guys didn't know um, I've featured that book before but um, I'm reading that 10 pages every day and so that's really getting me in like the American Revolution um mindset and so this would obviously be a great accompaniment to that and so yeah I thought I would give a chapter to this too so this one this one or the last one is a thick book this is one of my longest books on my TBR and that is and ladies of the club by Helen Hooven Santmeyer um so yeah, this book <laughs> is huge. Um, I think it's like 14, 1500 pages. Uh, yeah, 1400 pages. Um, but all I know about it is that it's set in the Midwest and it's about this um, book club that started and um, the lives and challenges and um, I don't know, all the experiences that these women have as they go through life and I know it's like multi-generational too so it covers different um different centuries of time I think it starts in the late 1800s and then goes up from there and I think it covers some of the world wars as well so it's a it's a thick one it's a commitment but I have heard so many good things about this book um and people have recommended it to me it's rated so highly on goodreads I know I'm gonna love it so it's a definite five star, five star prediction for me. So yeah, so these are the three books I'm gonna try a chapter of today and see um, which one um, sparks my fancy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that is everything, you guys. I am so, so happy that I finally came out and told you guys um, that I'm pregnant. I, I've been meaning to and it just, I don't know. I finally just got up the guts to say it. So, <laughs> um, also, also, uh, I realized today that I hit 2,000 subscribers, which is just crazy to me. Crazy. Um, I am mind blown that I've hit that number, that I've hit that milestone. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and being so lovely. Um, this community is awesome. Uh, one of the best decisions I've made in the past couple years has been to join booktube. And um, I'm just so grateful to you guys. So 
I just wanted to say that. Thank you so, so much. Um, I'm trying to come up with something fun to do to celebrate, but I will let you guys know when I do come up with that. <laughs> um, but with all that being said, please like and comment and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye! <laughs>